this video tutorial I will cover spring initializing bean and disposable bean. Suppose we want to perform any action after all properties of bean is set, then we have to implement initializing bean marker interface and provide implementation of after properties set method. And suppose if you want to perform any action after bean is released by the spring container, then we have to implement disposable bean marker interface and provide implementation of destroy method. In this example, after setting ID and name properties of employee object, spring container calls after properties set method. And once employee object is released by the spring container, then the spring container calls destroy method. Here I have defined the class app. Here I have created configurable application context object by reading a spring configuration file using uh, getbean method of uh, configurable application context object getting uh, employee object from uh, spring container and uh, displaying the employee object then i am calling uh, close method of uh, configurable application context object and uh, once we call the close method it will release uh, all the resources and uh, it will destroy all uh, hashed singleton beans Once we run this program, we will get uh, this output. Here you can see after property set method is called, after uh, ID and name properties of uh, employee object is set by the spring container, and uh, destroy method is called after uh, close method of uh, configurable application context object is uh, called by the spring container. If we use uh, initializing bean and uh, disposable bean interfaces in our code, then the code will be tightly coupled. So better not to use. And uh, better approach is uh, using uh, init method and destroy method attributes in our uh, spring configuration file.